what's up youtube it's your boy fc the truth and we're back with another video and man i wake up i go on youtube and joe button podcast they just post these clips from the adam 22 interview that they did they haven't posted the full interview yet just these clips and they're pressing adam basically talking about he's profiting off black trauma you know, pressing him over posting Kevin Samuels clips and all type of stuff. They're pressing him like he's the king culture vulture. Now, my my opinion is this is all BS. This is Joe Button. This is a prime example of redirecting your anger. Joe Button has long hated Vlad. He he completely hates Vlad, right? So this is him projecting his anger from Vlad on the Adam 22 when it's like, yo, and, and it's like taking no accountability. This is my problem. Like it, shade room, all these, all these like black media uh, companies, black entities that post celebrity gossip, celebrity news. They, they do the same thing. Adam 22 does, right? even worse sometimes and then they're gonna single out adam 22 like it's it's his fault he's doing all this he's just he's just uh what do they use they use the word sinister like what sinister and it is crazy to me because it's like it's it's crazy to me because where is the accountability like if if rappers are coming on adam 22's platform and they're talking about unaliving their ops. They're talking about all the stuff that can get themselves in trouble, that can get themselves jail time. And like everybody, Ice and Ish, they're they're even worse than Joe Button at this point. Cause they're especially Ish, man. He's acting like these are children. He's like, these are kids. These are my, these are kids. And we understand that they don't know any better. They're just kids. I'm 40 years old. It's like, bro, these is grown dudes. These is grown adults. Like, these dudes are like mid twenties to 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 older, and and they've done seven years in prison, and they're coming out of prison. It's like, bro, these are not kids, bro. These are adults. They got they got families of their own. They got like three baby mamas. They got six kids, bro. It's time to grow up. Like y'all can't be. I I know it's embarrassing that they're acting like this, that they're running around just murdering people in the streets and murdering each other and, and hurting each other and hurting the community. Yeah, that's embarrassing. But you can't cut them bait and say, yo, these are just these are kids. You know, you're exploiting Adam 22. You're exploiting these kids. It's like, yo, what is really what is going on? Like these dudes, these dudes are out here talking about doing heinous criminal activity and they're grown adults with families of their own, with kids of their own. Uh, and they're out here being a menace in society. It's like, yo, when are we going to take accountability for what goes on in our community? Like, and then if we're going to talk about how the media portrays, we got to be fair with it. We got to, we got to, we can't just single out Adam 22. He's doing what everybody's doing for clicks and likes and monetization from black media outlets, uh, world news outlets, gossip sites, everything. Everybody's doing the same thing for clicks and views. So. It's, that's why that's why I go back to my main point that this is Joe Button's trigger because he hates Vlad. So the fact that he hates uh, Vlad TV, he's like projecting like, OK, I can't scream at Vlad. So I'm going to take it out on Adam 22 because I see him in the same light as Vlad. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just scream. I'm going to yell at Adam 22 and try to make Adam look like this heinous evil villain and it's like bro and here's the thing this is this is funny this is kind of a weird analogy or or example but 
if a 29 year old went up to Joe Button and was like, man, I'm trying to get my music popping, man. Here's my demo. Here's my here's my uh, music. I'm on SoundCloud. He would tell this dude, bro, you're a grown man. Your music sucks. Time to get a job. Right. But why is it if that same 28 year old starts uh, unaliving his ops and being a menace in the community, making everybody look bad, making the black community look bad. Now he's 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 uh, caping for him like, oh, he's just a him, him and ish and ice. They're kids. They're kids. They're just kids. They don't know any better. They don't know any better. It's like, well, what it, what treat them like that when they trying to get their music heard? Like be like, oh, well, you know, I give it a listen since you're just a kid. You know, it's just like it, because what's going on in the community is so egregious and embarrassing. We like to not hold our community accountable and say, well, they're just kids. They're just kids. It's like, bro, don't get me wrong. It's a lot of kids out there in communities doing doing crime. But I'm strictly talking about what they were talking about in these clips. They're talking about like grown, grown adults. And Ish is talking about kids. And it just, it went a, a weird route because it's like, bro, these is adults. Um riding on a ops and it's like <laughs> it's you you can't you can't excuse that you can't cut them bait and say yo they're just a child it's like bro come on bro come on that's a stretch hold these dudes accountable be like yo i, I just chalk it up it's like yo they idiots if you if you ride on your ops and then you go on adam 22 and talk about you riding on your ops and then something happens after that that's on you that is that's yo like how is that Adam's fault? And then the Kevin Samuels thing is kind of weird too because uh, once again, when Kevin Samuels passed away, everybody was reporting. Everybody was doing videos. Everybody was having long YouTube videos. Everybody was posting clips of. Sam, Kevin Samuels, any Kevin Samuels material that they could find, people was posting that the day, the day after he passed, within twenty four hours. So to just like single Adam twenty two out and be like, look, you posted three clips, you posted three Kevin Samuels clips when uh, when when he passed away, you're a sinister evil man. It's like, bro. Do y'all not know what's going like? That's my theory is I don't know how like what their real lives are. But like if it seems like ish ice and Joe Budden are so out of touch with what's actually going on. It's like I even though they're in the like social media space and content creating space, they rarely actually know what's going on in the world of music and they really know what's going on in the world of pop culture so it's like they're just riding off of joe button's fame of being famous and being like hey people are going to watch my podcast regardless because i'm joe button but they don't even take the energy to actually see what's going on in pop culture in music. how many times have we saw the the joe button podcast and these dudes like we're going to talk about uh, such and such album. Oh, I ain't heard the album. What y'all think? I ain't. I, you know, I've been so busy. I ain't heard the album. I don't really. You know, I don't. I ain't even really uh, mess with the album like that. You know, I'm, I saw. I heard two songs. It's like two songs. How you gonna do an album review then? Why'd you even title the the thing album review? So it's like. They don't know what's going on. Like, literally, they don't know what's going on. Because you have to be literally so out of touch not to realize that when Kevin Samuels passed away, every YouTuber had a Kevin Samuels video. Everybody was clipping up his stuff on every platform, TikTok, Instagram, YouTube. So it's like the single and, and some and I'm talking about black, white. It didn't matter. Every content creator is people that didn't even do manosphere type content had 
whole Kevin Samuels videos. Like, yo, the 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 algorithm is going so crazy for Kevin Samuels stuff right now because he passed away. I got to do a video. So it's like and then to be like, hey, why'd you why'd you turn on monetization? Why'd you turn on the monetization for you? Like we're going to scream at Adam. It's all Adam's fault. Adam 22 is just this just this sinister guy. He's just lurking in the shadows. He's just he's just making money off black trauma. It's like, bro, that's every shade room. Uh man, say and and no shade the shade room or or say cheese. I'm talking about all these all these platforms. I watch all that stuff. But I understand why they do what they do. And I understand why Adam does what he does. But I'm not going to single out Adam and act like these people don't exist and make it like this is a problem. This is Adam 22. He's, you know, it's in a way. In a way, it looks crazy because it's like Adam. Adam's not allowed to do it, but everybody else can. You know what I mean? So what are we saying here? You know what I'm saying here. You know what I'm getting to. It's looking kind of weird when you when you hold it to the light. It's looking kind of weird. It's like a witch hunt. It is like, yo, y'all really going in on Adam about this. And everybody in, on YouTube's doing the same thing. <laughs> Come on, bro. It's crazy, man. I'm not even going to talk about this that long. I'm trying to. Just, but it just it kind of got under my skin to a certain degree because it feels like this is the main problem with us as a people is we should be in the streets. Joe Button, Ice Ish should be in the streets talking to the youth, trying to get them not to do dumb crimes, not to ride on their ops and not try to do all this instead of just sitting on a podcast and raking in tons of dough. And I'm not talking about doing charity work i'm talking about actually doing groundwork all these youtube channels all these people are montanizing off of the drama you know so this single out adam 22 like he's some sinister villain is just wrong it's just weird so like shout out to adam for actually holding his own you know like it's it's just weird man I this is this a bad look. And what's crazy is if you read the comments, the comment section, everybody's siding with Adam 22 in the comment section because they already know what it is. They because you can't if you that's why I'm saying how out of touch ice ish and 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 Joe Button are. They're super out of touch. They're like they're they're out of here. Like and and I, I expect more from ish and ice because financially. They they should still be on this like they should still be in tune because like Joe Budden's like so rich. He's out of here. You know, Joe Budden's out of here. So I can understand Joe Budden being so out of touch. He doesn't know what's going on. But Ice and Ish should actually know what's going on and be like, yo, we got Shade Room. We got Say Cheese. We got we got every every outlet that's that's profiting off of black trauma if we're going to call it that and then we're going to sit up here and cry and say adam 22 you're exploiting these young young people and it's like bro these dudes got more baby mamas these dudes got more kids than ish ice and joe button put together these dudes got families they 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 well over to 18 19 they like 20 something late some of them late 20s so it's like how are you a kid and you're in your late 20s stop it you know it's like it's like bro when are we gonna look in the mirror and be like we gotta fix our own problems in our own communities and quit blaming people we gotta stop this man this is this is unreal and if we gonna hold people accountable we gotta hold everybody accountable that's profiting off of black trauma that's posting this fight this person punches this person yo this person got in a fight with this person yo this person got got uh hurt and shot this person 
we got to hold every YouTuber, every media person accountable if we're going to if we're going to actually go down that road. And you and and I don't think nobody wants to go down that road because everybody's at fault when every YouTuber is at fault when we go down that path. So it's like this this was just uh Joe Button should have just said, "Yo, I'm just I'm sorry. I'm he actually owes Adam an apology." And that's cr- I know that sounds crazy, but he actually owes Adam an apology because you can tell he's just mad at Vlad. And he's take this was just Joe taking out his anger about Vlad on Adam 22 with no substantial evidence, no real evidence to back up why he's mad but uh yeah man this this was a crazy 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 day uh i'm calm now i'm i'm calm i've I've been calm i'm just you know that was just annoying like and, and like i said disagree agree i don't really i don't really care because you can look in the comment section of both of these videos and even Joe Button fans and Joe Button people that ride and watch that Joe Button podcast in the comment section, even they can't side with Joe. All the nasty things Joe did with, with the Rory, Rory and Maul situation. And he has the audacity to really like question Adam 22 morality and stuff. It's just it's just epitome of nonsense. So, yeah. And then it was, then it was weird, like Parks, like giving Adam a hard time for saying, um, for saying ops. And it's like, that was just weird to me. It's like, yo, that's a common word in hip hop. If you live, listen to any current hip hop song, they have, it has the word ops in it, especially if we're talking about drill rap. You know what I mean? So it's like the fact that, Parks was acting like he's not allowed to say ops because maybe he's older or I don't get why why it Parks was having such an issue like he kept like poking fun at the fact that 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 uh Adam 22 was saying such and such was talking about their ops and he was like huh you're saying the word ops and it's like yo what the that was weird yo so uh, if you want to know what, what what the the hell I'm talking about, just go to Joe Button TV YouTube channel. Go check out the clips that they posted. You'll see for yourself. It's it's ridiculous, and that's all I got. And I'm out.